All right, good morning, everybody. Friday morning. You guys are wondering, why am I not in the truck facing the neighbor's house? Well, <clears throat> no scrap run today, guys. Scrap's just been too light. I'm not going to go out and waste the gas today or the time, especially when I got this mess back here to deal with. As you see, the mess just continues, and it grows. It grows fast before you know it keep bringing stuff home bringing stuff home trying to get it processed which is what I'm gonna do today try to get some of this stuff processed and out of here and get this area cleaned up because it's just getting out of control you know it happens very quickly one of the commenters uh, mentioned before that scrapping is a disease let me tell you it is uh, Cut up some aluminum chairs. You know, these chairs can be tricky. You know, everybody thinks, oh, it's all aluminum. Well, nine times out of ten, it's not all aluminum. See there? See the magnet stick? Come on, focus camera. Pushing it down. And then it just falls off. So, yeah. This portion of the chair is aluminum. And as you go up. Now, does this mean that this is metal or steel? No, the thing is, is inside of it is a steel reinforcement bar. So what I'll do is I'll cut all the aluminum off of the chair. And then everything that's steel reinforced inside will go into a dirty aluminum pile. And then I'll eventually take all that in. <clears throat> Gotta clean these rims up, get the valve stems, all the wheel weights and the little plastic center caps out. I got all these window screens and screen frames. Actually, I'm not sure exactly what those are. But all that's got to be taken apart and cleaned up. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, I got some odds and ends. Plenty of odds and ends. This chair here, this patio couch thingy. This thing, actually, I checked this out with a magnet. It's all aluminum. I just got to cut all these plastic bands off. And hopefully they're not stapled into the aluminum, because sometimes they are. So I'm going to get started, guys, and then we'll get all this packed into the truck and we'll make a run and we'll see what it all pays I'm just gonna take in my non ferrous a lot of this steel scrap I got here I'll just let that sit until uh, yeah until Monday morning and it'll all get loaded up and go in then so let me get started here got my tools out all the essentials screwdrivers wire cutters channel locks well, it's a 13 wrench, but I'm using it for a half inch. Hey, uh, pick, screw gun, cigarettes, polar pop. So, all right, let me get started. All right, everything's done, cleaned up. Got all the chairs cut up, separated, extrusion from the aluminum sheet. All the screens separated, broken down. Then got a bucket of small extrusion. Uh, I'll start loading all that stuff up there into this bucket. And I got another tub over there. Get these wheels loaded up. <clears throat> this old ladder. Uh, what else are we going to take? Oh, all the sheet metal over here. This has got to get loaded. All this extrusion. Got to get loaded. A little bit of cast here. Which will go with the wheels. This thing, I uh, mess with. Uh, I already threw the bucket of insulated copper wire in there. So let me get this stuff put together and load it up. And then we're going to make the run and see what it all pays out at. All right, got it all loaded up. 
piled on there, strapped in. Got the uh, my clean copper and brass in the front seat with me. One thing I thought maybe you guys thought would might think is neat is this is in the dark. This is the radiator out of that uh, pool heater. This thing is all copper. Minus the flowers and dirt. I gotta say this thing's probably 15, 15 pounds or more. It's a nice chunk. All right, let me throw this in the truck and let's head for the scrap yard. All right, we're at the scrap yard, yay. Let's see how busy they are. Boy, they got cars piled up today, huh? to the small scale. Unfortunately, they won't let me film, so I'll be back with you when I get done. All right, back to the homestead. Look at this scrap ticket. Oh, <laughs> the camera focuses, but my eyes don't. <laughs> All right, so what will we make today? We did 34 pounds of number two copper, clean copper, for 59.50. Uh, and only nine pounds of yellow brass. Uh, what is that? 1305. Got 132 pounds of cast aluminum, 5280. Uh, 98 pounds of extrusion. And it's still holding 70 cents. Gotta love that. 6860. Uh, 87 pounds of sheet aluminum. That was 4089. And 28 pounds of insulated. Number two wire at 50 cents a pound still at $14. You know, cutting those wires, it seems so trivial, but it adds up. $15 or $14. Can't beat that. Total payout was $249. So, not bad for collecting some garbage and junk, huh? Plus, I got, let's see, this week. Oh, I sold a pressure washer yesterday. Yeah, that was $100. Easy. Um, two eBay sales for another $77 and change. Um, I think what else? Oh, I think that's it, actually. So not too bad this week. All right, guys. I will see you Sunday evening. We'll go back out and see if we can't load it all up over again and bring home a bunch more junk to play with. Until next time.